Well, this is the type of occasion I really love. These are days when we celebrate our starts in the past, and uh, there's no better recognition than to be in the Hall of Fame. We started with our teams of the Millennium, and we're delighted to have them up. We in inducted some players last year. We have four absolutely superb stars this year. It's great to have um, Mick O'Dwyer and Mickey Hearn recognised, Pat McGrath and, of course, Noel Skeen. All great characters, all people who have contributed hugely to the organisation. It's a big honour for them. I think they realise that they know that they are now regarded as superstars. Well, I suppose any honour that you get at any time is one when you're getting recognition, I suppose. But I suppose it's a bad sign when it's the Hall of Fame. That's the, the, the end of the road, generally. As you know yourself, but still, I'm still involved down in Waterville. I went back from Clare and I'm now involved with an under 14 team down there at the present time. So I'm starting all over again. You have to pinch yourself, really, to be quite honest about it, to hear all the things that you said about you. But after playing from, we say, came on to the team in 62 as a minor and 73 was in the senior, or 63 came into the senior panel and I retired at 85, so it's a long time. So I suppose people really have good things and bad things to say about you, but whatever it is, anyway, we'll take it on the chin and get on with it. Like, But it is uh, it's fantastic to, to hear the things I have to say. Like, And uh, as I said, it's a great achievement, apart from yourself, like, you know, for your club and county, family, the whole lot, like, it's great. Uh, for me, it's a great thing to get an honour like that at this stage of my life. I thought that honours were finished long ago, but anyhow, so we'll take them on the comp. The backs got away with a lot that time that wouldn't happen now, but the game has changed a lot. Like You need to be able to run now for 60 minutes or 70 minutes, whatever that the game is, and if you can do that, you, you'll, you'll probably get on any county team. It was a, a, bit a disadvantage never to have played in, in, on the big day or get a chance to win in All-Ireland. Everybody wants to play in Crow Park and um, to win. You always play to win, but it just didn't happen with us. You miss the buzz, like, you know, you're going to matches, like, and it's different when you're playing, like, you're all worked up waiting for the game and can't wait to get out. And you know, to watch a game, then it's completely different. You know what I mean? It's completely different, but you look, it happens to everyone. You have to retire. We're obviously looking at players that have made a very unique contribution to Gaelic games at the highest level um, and the GA Museum Hall of Fame really serves as a permanent tribute um, to players who have adorned Gaelic games, hurling and Gaelic football at the highest level over the course of their inter-county career. <laughs>